Good day, how you doing? So this is a simple video that's going to show you how to make a simple poster on PowerPoint using Paint and Photoshop. Okay, now again, I've showed you the poster that we did before. I'm also showing you the little icon. So we're going to start a new. We've opened a new slide. Okay, blank slide. We press insert. We press word art. Okay, and we're just going to choose whatever word art we want. I've chosen this one here. I'm going to click on the dotted line, click and drag it to the top, and then I'm going to make sure it's on both sides so that that way it's centered. Okay, now I'm going to double click the information, and as you can see, by double or triple clicking it, I can enter something new. Okay, my name's Beta, so I'm going to put that in like that. Okay, so as you can see by me double clicking, the actual text I get different options including the text outline now text outline I'm gonna make black text effects I'm gonna choose glow options and with glow options I have a whole number of things I can change the size of the glow okay transparency you always want zero percent and you always want it to be white unless your outline is white then you want it to be black okay so I've done that I've pressed close now I'm gonna to go to home uh, I don't like the uh, default, so I'm going to make it Times New Roman. Uh, here I can change the font size, but I'm okay for now. Okay. So I've selected my text again. I've copied it by clicking on the link, pasted it by pressing Control V, and I'm good to go. I'm going to make this a little smaller. Again, to copy, it's Control C on your keyboard if you're not familiar. Okay. Going to double click on this, and I'm going to type in my copy, okay, or my words. Should be seven words or less. Okay, most slogans are. Okay, so I've done that. What I'm doing now is I'm opening up my browser and I'm going to look for pictures of lions because people like pictures. People don't respond well to text. Okay, you want your PowerPoint, any visual marketing presentation, to be pictures. Pictures sell. People read after the fact in most cases. Okay, so I'm opening up both Google as well as Bing. Um, at least at our school I find Bing to be a lot faster uh, and you do get different images so I'm gonna find an image I want wait until it loads right click press copy image okay click on PowerPoint control V and there I go now you'll notice it's too big so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna right click and it allows me to set the uh, size so I'm gonna put it at 2 that way I can bring it down and then from here I can make it bigger now only make it bigger to the maximum it was if you make it larger than the initial picture was which was 31 centimeters or so you're gonna run into problems you will also notice I pressed arrange there that way I'm able to get it under my text now again you don't want to cover the face so I'm just moving it around here so that it looks good without the text actually covering the face so great I got my first picture uh, I'm gonna aim for four so I'm looking around and seeing what looks good I'm not just gonna take any picture I'm gonna take something that looks good there's tons of pictures there again wait until it loads right click copy image okay and again while you're watching this video if I'm talking too fast feel free to pause it okay so I've control V my image it's not too big where I have to right click it so again I'm gonna manipulate it on screen you know what I since it looks good in this top corner so I'm gonna do that again arrange it so it's behind the text and now from there okay well you know what it's covering the face I don't want it to cover the face so what I've decided here is I'm gonna left align my headline okay and then that way I can make this as big as I want oops I don't want it that big because I kinda like the legs in the picture okay and uh, Again, usually when I'm doing a checkerboard pattern, I'm going to want to line those up, but I'll do that after. So now what I have here is I'm going to go for my third picture. And again, eh, this one I don't like. Okay, It's good to be picky. Okay, Realistically, you get used to doing this process. It'll take you at most 15 minutes. Now you'll notice here, well, this is a great picture, but wait a second. I got all this blur in the background. You don't want blur. There's so many other pictures that look great. Okay, and so I'm going to be picky. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to look for an image that suits. So now I've copied the picture into paint and I can manipulate this picture with these boxes at the bottom and then from there stick it back into PowerPoint. Control A, Control C, and then Control V and it's there. Control A selects everything in the program you're working in. So that's why I pressed Control A prior to Control C. Okay, again, I arrange this, I send this back. Now, notice I'm not going to leave it like this because it cuts off the side of the face. So I have to start manipulating these side pictures. Okay. 
And again, I'm a perfectionist. I'm going to look, but for this project, good enough. Okay. Now, I'm going to start looking for other pictures. So let me scroll down. And again, I need something in the top left corner, something that preferably is not going to be covered by my text. Okay, and so I'm going to be a little more picky for this last photo. Now, if I see anything really nice, I can always manipulate the other pictures, move them around, maybe delete a picture and find something else. Okay, this picture, I could possibly just crop it if I really wanted to. Um, but again, uh, I'm going to be a little picky. I'm going to look around. Uh, this one, again, I could fit in maybe and, and replace another one. This one as well, but again, you have blurry background. You can see that right off the bat, so I'm not going to use this. Okay. This one would look good except one problem. You'll notice that part of the face is cut off. Okay, For a passport picture, this wouldn't work. And so for your photo, this should not work. You shouldn't use this Okay, unless you're trying for a unique um, niche market picture for some reason. Okay, So I'm going to choose this picture. I, I like it. It looks good. I have yapped enough about finding the right type of picture, so I'm going to stick it in there. Control V. Now, the one thing about this is I need this picture to be on the far left side. So what I've done is I'm going to click and drag my picture, and then I'm going to go right to the corner. I'm going to take this square box, and I'm going to crop it here. And then I'm going to press my Control A, Control, and then from there I'm going to click and drag it by just pressing Control A and then clicking and dragging. And then from here, again, I click outside the picture, click on this small box, and I make it the size I want. Now I control A it, I control C to copy, I go to my PowerPoint, control V, and there I go. Okay, again, right click it to make it the size I want. Again, I'm going to aim for about two centimeters. Oh, where'd it go? I made it a little too small, it went off the page. That happens. So I'm going to click it, I'm going to put it back in here. I'm going to make it large up to 24 centimeters, as that's how large it was. Send it back, and I'm good to go, right? Wrong. Okay, what I have here is where the text is covering this picture. I move it over, and now it's covering the other one. That's a problem. So I can make my text smaller. Again, your text should be a minimum of 20 centimeters. Realistically, you're aiming for 30. Okay, so I've made that to 32. And again, I've knocked this down to 24. And I look at it and I'm going, you know what? I can actually make this larger than 32, so I might as well. So I'm going to stick this at 40. And that allows me to make my copy, which should always be uh, smaller than the other text, um, 32. So I have everything, right? Okay, I'm just going to pull those down. I just noticed those were not to the edge of the page. You don't want white lines. Well, you might, depending on if you want like picture borders, but I got everything except for my icon, my signature, my trade copy, my logo, okay? I got my headline, my uh, copy, my pictures, but I need that trade character logo, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into Bing, I think I'm working in here, and I'm going to type, type in Lion Icon. Okay, you could also type in line logo or something like that, but I find icon the best for finding pictures that you could use. Okay, now again, I could be picky with this. Usually I would be, but for this, I'm just going to I'm just going to choose the one picture that comes up that looks nice, okay? Right off the bat, you see the checkered pattern, you know, hey, this is great. There's no white in the background. So I'm going to copy that and uh, I'm going to stick it in paint now again I'm going to make the window in paint smaller so I'm going to click outside click at the side of the box and bring that in and I'm going to control V it now you'll notice when I control V it I get this black space you don't want that so what I'm going to actually do is insert a new blank slide I'm going to click and drag that down and then I'm going to stick that in PowerPoint okay now I need text in my icon well I already have text I can click copy paste bring this on top okay and uh, then from there come up with my whether my company name or whatever it happens to be again a good logo has text as well as pictures okay now in this case I'm just gonna put lions yay put that in print screen which is on your keyboard and then I go into paint control V and I get everything I need okay again I'm gonna make it so it's a little bit smaller and then I have my logo, correct? Yes and no. You'll notice if I stick it into PowerPoint, I get this white background. I don't want that. Okay, that's blotchy. That goes over my picture. That does not look good. So what I have to do is go into Photoshop. Okay, element um, doesn't really matter. I'm going to go into Photoshop. I'm going to 
put it in. I'm going to duplicate the layer. That's the first thing you must do whenever you're starting a new Photoshop. And then I'm going to make it so that my layer one is not seen. I'm going to go to my selection tool and choose the magic wand option. Okay, I'm going to click. I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. And that checkered space shows me that, hey, you know what? I have transparent background. Now you'll notice I'm clicking on the rest of this white because I don't want that and I don't have that. So I have to click on the magic wand tool and make the tolerance larger. Okay, It makes it a little larger and I press delete again, but I still have some white space. So maybe I need to alter this a little bit more. Okay, I click that again. I got my delete. Now sometimes you might have to zoom in. So you're going to see me momentarily. I'm going to press the, the control plus on my keyboard. And that allows me to zoom in. So that that way I can get those little small spaces so I don't have a little white blotch that shows up. Okay, once I've done that, I can press control and the negative sign to pull out. And then from there, I go to my file. Save as. Not my save key. Save as. Okay, make sure it's on desktop so I know where to find my file. I choose the PNG option. Okay, press save. And then from there, it's as simple as going into PowerPoint, inserting a picture, and uh, it should appear on my desktop. Now, in this case, I, uh, I'm going to check my um, uh, Photoshop again. Oh, okay, I didn't press the PNG option, so it didn't fully save. Now it's saved. You'll see it, it enters Untitled 1. That's what I called it. It enters there. I can manipulate the size as long as it's smaller, and I'm going to put it in the corner. Now, in the corner, it kind of, and this is where you should put your signature, it kind of does block the guy's mouth. So I'm going to put it here. Now, I, I really shouldn't, but just to sort of show you what I'm doing. Now, you notice it, it kind of blends in. I don't really want that. So by clicking the format and the glow option, not only can I have glow on text, I can have glow on pictures. So I'm going to change the size again to around 15, transparency 0, color white, and I got my picture. Okay. Thanks for watching, and now you know how to do a simple poster.